And with Sophia and the latest on our weather, I can see as the sun's coming up, there's still a lot of haze in the, in the sky. Yeah, unfortunately, Roland, it's kind of just sticking over us like a big blanket this weekend. So we're going to have to talk about that and how it may clear out into Sunday. But that's something we definitely have to keep our eye on now. For those of you driving into work this morning, it is Friday morning and I'm like covering up the song, the song of the day. But take a look. It's a lovely day by Bill Withers. Now, as you're heading into work or school, this is a good song to listen to as to kick off our Labor Day weekend. But you also are going to want to grab a jacket because temperatures in that upper 58 mark, just a light heading and back and coming home you'll see those upper 80s will be reaching towards those 90s but what we also have to watch for that smoke plume i know i know it is not the best news as we start to prepare for our labor day weekend but i want to show you what happened yesterday so we had this beautiful blue sky then as soon as 10 o'clock hit that shifted because of the winds and all that smoke started to come down to our neck of the woods and you smelt it and you certainly saw it so let's talk about what else we can expect it to do today and right now it's kind of just hovering over mccall cascade and stanley but as we go into our friday afternoon you'll notice that it's going to start to shift up towards baker city parts of mccall and it's really going to continue to hover over the Treasure Valley. Now, if you're in the Twin Falls area, it's looking a little bit better off there, but it is going to start to eventually start to shift towards Ketchum. So if you're in that area tomorrow morning, I would expect to see that smoke plume and it really looks to just be sticking over us into our Saturday as well. Now, we do have some hopes of it starting to clear up as we go into Sunday and I'll get to that in just a moment, but a lot of the smoke plume is coming from the Wapiti fire. Notice that those yellow and red areas, that's still parts that are actively burning. Areas in gray, that is the parts that have been burned. So sending lots of thoughts and prayers to all those being impacted. But as we go into our weekend, you'll notice that that upper level ridge will slowly start to shift out and that's what's keeping us a bit on the warmer end. This upper level low backing off the Pacific will come in, pull some moisture, bringing us rain chances, but it'll also bring us in some breezy conditions. Now that can help us into Sunday by helping mix the atmosphere and pushing out a bit of that smoke. But as to rain chances and what we can expect, it looks like a lot of it is going to head for those higher elevations. They've got about a 40% chance in Stanley and Ketchum, but the rest of the area 20 to 30% in the Treasure Valley and Magic Valley. So I don't want to oversell us on our rain chances there. And it's wrapping up September or starting Actually, we are going to expect to see temperatures hotter than normal, so I wouldn't expect the heat to go away just yet. But here's a good look at the weekend and week ahead. We have temperatures hovering between that 90 and upper 80 mark. We'll keep our eyes on this. Just make sure you're staying hydrated and wearing your sunscreen into the weekend. We're going to go ahead and head on over to the road.